Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey. So recently I made a short about Damon and Atlanta. And basically I was just making a short to warn other women about the potential hazards and dangers in Atlanta. Now, it was some people that were very but hurt over that. You know, they were very upset that I made that video. And um, they were very disrespectful and cussed me out. And I felt like I only hit dogs holler. Because at the end of the day, it's my truth. Dating in Atlanta, see, and let me elaborate. Because I said that there's a lot of lost souls. There's a lot of demonic energy and spirits um, on these men when you're dating them in Atlanta. They are closet. That's what I meant. There's a lot of closet homosexual activity. I don't know about all the rest, about this, that, and the third, but just the fact that a lot of men move to Atlanta to live a closet lifestyle is disturbing. It is disheartening. It's disconcerting for me because it hit home for me because I was in a relationship with someone for 10 years. And at the end of the 10 years, I found out that they were in the closet. Now, to go through that and deal, deal with that and understand how it affects you emotionally and psychologically at the end of the day, you can do something with that pain or you can do something positive with that pain or you can just dwell in it. I'm not the type of person that's going to dwell in my misery or dwell in misery. I'm going to do something about it. So I had to heal and part of my healing process is to share my experience with other women and to warn them of the potential dangers of dating in Atlanta. Now, when you're dating in Atlanta, you are going to encounter a lot of things with these men who, that don't add up. It's going to be a lot of um, suspect activity that they are involved in with their friends, with their homeboys, with their partners, with these men they work with. You know, um, so, so to comment and to make that observation and to want to warn other women of that, I don't think it's nothing wrong with that. I don't think it's nothing wrong with telling your own personal truth because my own personal truth is that Atlanta has a lot of closet men. Okay, now what? You know, somebody wants to get upset over that, then oh well. If several people want to get upset over that, oh well. I'm reclaiming my time. Unless you can give me 10 years back, then, hey, you will not got nothing to say about what I have to say. And what my truth is, if you cannot give me my time back, you can't. So, I'm just making a, I just made an observation. And with that observation, I'd rather just go ahead and share it and to keep it with myself, to myself, because it's other women that go through the same thing. It's other women that's going through the same thing right now. Now, I thank God personally that he brought me out and he was able to take the blinders, you know, off of my eyes for me to see the truth about what's really going on in Atlanta. So what's really going on in Atlanta on the dating scene is that it's a lot of closet men. And I believe that it is fueled and backed by the culture, the hip-hop culture, because a lot of black men use hip-hop as a cover for their closet homosexuality as well. There's a lot of men who chase after these rappers more so than women. There's a lot of male groupies. And I don't see how people don't let see that and have it add up. You know, that adds up to me. If a man is chasing another man for a picture or for an autograph or know every lyric or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing to acknowledge the work of another man, but it's, a, it's a, quite another thing when you are a groupie for that man. You know, and they put it, they have it under the guise, you know, of, oh, you know, oh, I, um, 
you know, uh, uh, um, I'm just a fan or, you know, uh, that's my nigga, that's my N-word, you know, all of this, all of that. No, you are attracted to this other man and you need to be honest. You need to be honest about that and not drag a woman and her children along for whatever this whole thing you got going on with being in the closet. So yes, Atlanta is full <clears throat> of a lot of closet gay men. And it doesn't matter what no one says because the fact that the matter is every homosexual man in the entire world knows that if they come to Atlanta, baby, you going to get what you are looking for. You are going to get what you're looking for. You're going to be able to date the same kind of man that uh, uh, women of a certain caliber can date. Women who just average women can date. You're going to get them same men. And I have I've known gay men who refuse to come out the closet. Not only my ex, but I've known gay men who refuse to come out the closet, who moved to Atlanta, and all their friends moved to Atlanta, and they are happy to, uh, to say that they sleeping with somebody who has a girlfriend, who has kids. They like that. It gives them adrenaline rush. It gives them an extra adrenaline boost and rush that they need. I'm sorry, and rush that they that they desire, that they're looking for. Dating a man who is in the closet, which is a lot of men in Atlanta, over half. Ain't nobody going to tell me it ain't over half. It's over half of the men in Atlanta who are in the closet. These men from all over the world coming to Atlanta because they know that the pool of closet men is large. And just imagine how the sex drive, the drive of men is, you know. And so it's a lot of activity, okay. It's a lot of activity going on here. A lot of activity because these men coming from all over. So at first maybe it was just a little bit, but now it's a lot. And it's the whole culture. So imagine being a woman and having to choose from that you're going to get the same thing a lot of the times. And it's not about this and that and third. And it is about, you know, this, that, and the third. But at the same time, it's just the culture. The culture of Atlanta, as far as it goes with dating, is that you are going to be dating a lot of closet men. And a lot of people know this. This is not a secret. It's only... I guess it's only a secret to people who in the closet. I guess or they, they feel like no one knows or maybe it's like people are so, uh, I guess so, um, they got in their mind so much about Atlanta and glamorized it so much that they really feel like they finna come to Atlanta and get them a rapper. They finna come to Atlanta and this. They finna come to Atlanta and that. No, you're gonna come to Atlanta and you're going to run into a lot of things that are not adding up with the men you are dating or dealing with and they homeboys. They're gonna wanna spend way more time with their homeboys than you. They are gonna check in at night with their homeboys while they laying in the bed with you. They're going to be doing all kind of weird stuff when it comes to the way that they interacting with their homeboys. Now, don't get me wrong, being homosexual is one thing. Being in a, because you out, but being homosexual in a closet, you're in, okay? You're still trying to be in, having one foot in a door and the other one out. That's not okay for the people who it becomes who are affected by that. Now, how is that okay? And how, how come somebody who experienced that can't speak up on it? Why? Why not? It's just to warn other women that when you're going to come to Atlanta, you are going to run into a lot of closet homosexual men. So to me, that's like dating a demon. That's in my opinion. 
when somebody is hiding to that extent that they trying to fool you just so they can have a certain place in society and just so they can be looked at a certain way, but they're using you? Oh no. Oh no, that's not okay. Because that's a lot of your time that you lost. That's a lot of your time that you lost. So, I mean, I made that little video or whatever. I didn't mean to offend anyone, but if it did offend anybody, oh well. You know what I mean? But you don't have to come on my channel or my videos being disrespectful. You can make your own. You can make your own videos and disrespect yourself. I was just playing. No, but for real, you can make your own videos and have your own opinion. I got my opinion. You got your opinion. And that's just it. And I'm never going to stop thinking that. And I'm never going to stop feeling that way unless somebody can give me all of my 10 years back and I have a totally different life experience, I'm going to keep feeling the way that I feel. Atlanta is full of closet homosexual men. So ladies, be careful dating in Atlanta. There I said it again. So I have to go to work and it was very nice chatting with you guys, anyone who listened. <laughs> I hope you I hope you listen so please like share and subscribe and um yeah I'll be back in the next video basically saying the same thing have a good one god bless